Hey, hello, Gamer Realm is back. In this video, we're going to help this noob with the new T-Rex fruit reach max level. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Realm when purchasing Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. And one more thing, I created a Twitter account, so make sure to follow at Gamer Realm Grind for future updates and giveaways. Where the actors slam on their dancing forward, that's your slam! Okay, so guys, before we start, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Time to start grinding this new mythical fruit. So as you can see, this fruit has an M1 or left click. This is a good indicator that the fruit is good for grinding. Let's not forget it has a first skill, the tail swipe. For the tip, use your left clicks to lure and for initial damage. Then use tail swipe to last hit your enemy. Okay, target tier is level 10. All stats will go to the blocks fruit. And again, at level 10, we will head to the Fountain City. Our first target, actually our only target here is the Galley Pirate. So guys, we will do Wall Strat here. Use your M1 to damage your enemy and Z skill to last hit the Galley Pirate. Guys, you will be leveling up really fast. Also, we will be unlocking our X skill here, the Predatory Speech. Mastery requirement is Mastery 50. There you go. So guys, this one's really good. To pull your enemy towards you there you go so guys we have two skills now and our target level again is 60 let's do some stat check I go melee and defense 30 blast fruits 120 next island is the desert our first target the desert officers so guys time to practice your skills left clicks and some X skill that is my tip best combination so far how about the tail swipe I don't recommend it too much as as long as you're gonna use it to last hit your enemy because again it has knockback which will make grinding a lot slower okay so at level 75 next up desert officer same strategy guys left clicks to lure and x skill to last hit them or yeah you can even use your tail swipe target level is level 90 there you go some tail swipe for the stats again same melee defense 30 but the black fruits now is 210 next up the frozen village so here guys you can buy uh, everything at the ability teacher for 130,000 bellies but i think we still lack the money so we're just gonna buy the air jump and the aura we're gonna buy the flash step later okay so for our target snow bandits same strategy guys left clicks there you go and then last hit them using your x skill uh, i really love the x skill the predatory speech so make sure to take advantage of that because again, you will be pulling your enemy towards you. Anyway guys, we're gonna skip the next set of mobs here. And at 105, we're, we are gonna go straight to the Yeti. So this is the boss here guys. There you go. So guys, don't forget to get presents on one of the islands here. The new islands in the first sea. This will just last for this Christmas update. Also, as you can see, we are getting uh, candies. You can use that to boost your account. So guys, start doing server up here. And we're gonna grind here until 130. And for our next island, guys, the Marine Fortress, my favorite area. Because this is the location of my favorite boss, the Vice Admiral. Why? Guys, he's easy to defeat as well as it gives out lots of bellies or yen. There you go. You can get rich here just by doing server hop. And yes, we are going to do server hop here. And if you notice, we've already unlocked our Hunter's Rage at Mastery 100. We are going to try that out on the next island. Anyways, target level here is 220. Guys, let's do some stat check again. 115 melee defense, block fruits 430. Okay, so at the prison, guys, we have three bosses, right? The Warden at level 220, Chief Warden at 230, and Swan at 240. And by the way, this is the Hunter's Rage. There you go. Looks good, but again, I still prefer the X skill. Also guys, just a reminder, we are here at the public server doing server hop, which means there are other players grinding here. So make sure to make peace with them since it's Christmas season <laughs> and that will make things or grinding a lot faster. Okay, so for again our final boss here, this one, this one is really good. It gives out lots of experience plus money. Anyways, closer look at the Hunter Rage. There you go. Again guys, doing server hop here is the best way to grind faster. There you go guys, we've reached level 350, heading, we are now heading towards the next island. Again, we're gonna do some uh, stat check, 175 mil defense, block fruit 700. Next up, Magma Village. 
Okay, so guys, we're just gonna defeat the Magma Village here. One on one. One v one, mano a mano. There you go. Is he hard to defeat? No, guys. Just dodge his skills every time you finish using your own skills. Okay? So guys, you need uh, melee there to have lots of stamina. There you go. Dodge and skill. Again, we're gonna server up here until we reach level 425. Easy. Guys, and after that, we are almost done with the first sea. Two more islands to go for the stats. Here it is. Next up, guys, the Whirlpool or the Underwater City. So guys, target here is the Fishman Lord. And again, we're gonna do server hop. Gamer Nob, can you do wall strat here? Yes. Same with the other mobs at the prison. I mean the bosses. But yeah, we're just gonna waste our time. Or I mean our new fruit just by doing wall strat, right? Anyways, another server hop strategy will be useful here. There you go. And we're gonna leave this area at level 500. Once we reach that area, guys, final uh, last two islands, right? Okay. So next island is the Skylands, Upper Sky. We are just going to target one boss, and that is Whisper. So guys, you can do stone strat here. Just go on top of the stone, but yeah, we're not gonna do that strategy. Just dodge the cannon or bazooka and that's it. Same with the Magma Admiral, okay? So target level here is level 625. Guys, uh, in this area, don't forget to buy the Observation Hockey if you're gonna grind on the next C. As well as, what do you call this? The item from your Yoshi. Hey, I'm gonna show it to you. But first, let's buy the Observation Hockey or Instinct for 700,000 bellies. Also, make sure to finish the Shanks quest, right? The jungle quest. There you go. Did I say 700,000? It's 750. Anyways, next up, Fountain City. Sorry for that. We are back at defeating the Gali Pirates. So guys, now everything is a lot better and easier. Now that we've unlocked a new skill again, Gigantic Leap at Mastery 200. Here it is. Boom! <laughs> anyway guys, we're gonna grind here. Actually, uh, I'll give you a choice. You can grind the Galley Pirates until 700 or defeat Cyborg. Yes, starting at level 600. Is that 75? Yes. But I don't suggest that guys because it's, it's kind of hard to be honest, defeating Cyborg. He's too tanky. So guys, just grind here. Uh, suggestion is defeat one Galley Pirate at a time. Okay, I hope that's clear. But just to show you guys, here it is. Cyborg. <laughs> you can get his glasses here, which is kind of good. But yeah, I still prefer our item now. The one that we bought from Yoshi. There you go. Boom. Oh guys, I almost forgot this is a max level video. So we're gonna stay here until 775. Sorry. <laughs> Why 775? Because guys, the first two mobs... They're so hard to grind, so I suggest you staying here at, until 775. For the stats, 265 mil defense, blast fruits 1795. Don't forget to defeat Ice Admiral, see you at the second C, the Awakened One. After that, head to Experience Captain, and we are at the second C. Congratulations, guys. Next target, guys. There you go, we're gonna start with this one. Pirates, I told you guys, we've skipped, I think, three mobs, including Diamond or Diamante, the boss. I go really easy and finally guys we're gonna unlock our v skill here the transformation which is really good i'm telling you guys the reptilian scales so here it is the transformation there you go so for we have still we still have m1 left clicks here see that okay now i'm gonna show you the skills z skill tail swipe there you go predatory speech same st still same really good Hunter's Rage, so you need a target there, and for the Gigantic Leap. So guys, there is another feature here, the DPS. So guys, as you can see, every time you hit them with your skill or your left click, there is a uh, T-Rex sign on top of them. So how it works? Guys, you just need to create distance and there will be a DPS, okay? So 925, next target, the green zone. Target here is Fajita or Fujitora. So guys, is he easy to defeat? Yes. Because guys, every time you hit him, right, and then you're gonna dodge his skill, guys, you will still inflict damage because of your DPS, right? Your uh, passive skill. See that, guys? There's still damage. Okay, we are reaching 12,000 damage, 30,000, I don't know, 12,300, 15,000, 16,000. So guys, every time you grind the boss here, 
even though you're creating distance to dodge his own skills, will still be damaging him. So I think you can now take advantage of the knockbacks of your skills, okay? So guys, we're gonna grind here until level 1000. Yes, level 1000 our target here. But if you're having a hard time, you can just head to the zombies. Yeah, they're easier to defeat and you can still grind fast there. Oh, we got the gravity cane. Gamer Nom, can you use your uh, human form here? Yeah, if you want to have a hard time. <laughs> what I mean is that you just uh, focus on using your transformation, okay? Make sure that your fury meter is at max. Next up, snow mountains. Our target here is the snow troopers only. Again, only. Guys, check this out. Left clicks, right? You're almost dead. Now, just use your C skill or your X skill or your Z skill and that's it. Very easy, guys. Because of the BPS, yes. Grinding will be a lot faster. Check that out. Enemies dying using your DPS. Boom. Again, target level here is 1,150. Next up, hot and cold. Target here is the Smoke Admiral. So I'm just gonna defeat this once. See that, guys? Transformation, DPS, left clicks. Also, guys, you can counter his uh, lunging attack, uh, the smoke attack, or whatever you call it, by using your C skill. You can uh, attack him face to face, which is really good, I'm telling you. Just time it. Go, boom. Okay, so guys, again, this boss is the easiest boss to defeat here in the second C. So we are going to take advantage of that. Target level, 1250. Okay, so next up, guys, the cursed ship. So here, guys, listen, we're gonna grind ship deckhands until we reach level 1000. Listen, guys, 1400. Why Gamer Nom? Because that is the easiest way to grind here. I'm telling you, guys. I'm telling you, just follow my strategy. There you go. 1400. Next up, guys, the Winter Castle or the Ice Castle. So, target here is the Awakened Ice Admiral. This is the final mob that we're gonna defeat here in the second sea. Why? Guys, the mobs at the Skull Island or the Forgotten Island, they're so hard to defeat. But if you are a Logia Fruit user, just like the Light Fruit, that has M1, guys, yeah, go, go for it. But if you're like this, a Zoan or a Beast type Fruit user, it's really hard. The damage is too high, they're so far apart, and they spawn really slow, okay? So just do server hop with the Ice Admiral, Awakened Ice Admiral, that's it. Also, you can do wall strat here, guys, which is really easy, right? I hope that's clear. There you go. Again, you can defeat him using your uh, human-based form, but I suggest just defeating him using your transform or uh, T-Rex form. Oh, we got a library key. For those who don't know, you can use this one to open this room to get the death step. Anyways, make sure to defeat Swan by giving Trevor uh, an expensive fruit. A fruit that costs more than 1 million bellies or 1 million bellies to be exact. After defeating him, there you go, it's one. After that, don't forget to free the prisoners. And last but not the least, let's not forget, we're gonna fight Indra. Don't worry guys, just half HP is needed for you to pass the test. And after that, there you go, you can head to the green zone and talk to Mr. Captain and congratulations. We are now at the third C, guys. There you go. Let's make this fast. We're almost done. First target, guys. First and only target in the first island, the port, Pirate Millionaires. There are three mobs here. The Pirate Millionaires, Pistol Billionaires, and Stone, right? So we're just gonna focus on this one. Why? Because they're near each other. They're near the quest giver, and they're easy to defeat. Okay? That, that is my holy trinity of grinding. Easy to defeat near the quest giver and they spawn really fast. If not, just do server up with a boss, okay? Target level, 1,675. Next up, Hydra Island. So at the Hydra Island, our target is the Island Empress. Again, we're gonna skip all the mobs here because again, they did not meet my requirements. By the way, at the third sea, guys, there are lots of bounty hunters. For example, this one. Guys, I don't know why he's even here. Oh, we died. <laughs> Just make sure to damage the Island Empress, okay? You will still get experience. I don't know why they're here. They're at max level. They have e -Claw, They have CDK, etc, etc. They have V4. <laughs> Maybe they're grinding for an item. Anyways, I'm just gonna show you how to defeat bosses here. Again, you can do wall strat. But guys, just enjoy and appreciate the developer's work. There you go. 
Irex fruit is really good with a DPS, but if you're in a hurry, yeah, you can do wall strat. <laughs> there you go. We're just gonna defeat this once, and we are going to head to our next island, okay? Still, uh, Buddha fruit I think is a lot better because of the life steal that you can give him, yeah, using an item, right? There you go. So guys, target level here is 1,750. And after that, we are heading towards our next island, the Great Tree. Who's our target here, guys? Kilo Admiral. This boss has no aerial attacks, but sadly, if you're using a Zoan fruit or a beast type fruit, yes, you will really get damaged. But it's fine, guys. Before doing PvP, you can practice your skills and your combos here with the bosses, right? There you go. Okay, we're almost done here. Also, I think they added a skill here on the Kilo Fruit. Kilo Admiral, sorry. <laughs> okay, so at 1825, we're gonna leave this area and head to the Floating Turtle. Guys, we're gonna skip our favorite Fishman commanders here. We're gonna focus with the Forest Pirates. Why Gamer Nom? Because again, we're not Logia, or our fruit is not Logia fruit. So we will get damage even if we're fighting enemies that doesn't have hack. Anyways, target here, you can defeat two or one mob at a time so that you will always be busy killing mobs. You won't have an idle time waiting for them to spawn. There you go. So guys, just continue it. Our target here is level 1975. Okay, after that, next island, the Hunted Castle, target here, reborn skeletons. And again, we're skipping all the mobs here. Why gamer nom? Guys, the mobs here are strong, I'm telling you. <laughs> they have skills. And if you don't have Logia, yeah, you will really get smashed. Okay? So guys, at level 2075, final islands, Sea of Treats, first target here, Peanut Scouts. Best mob here in the Sea of Treats. Why? They've met our, our requirements for good grinding. They spawn really fast. They're easy to defeat. And near the quest giver. There you go. Easy. So guys, target here at the Peanut Scouts. If only we can grind until max level here, I'm gonna stay here. But no. 2200, you can start defeating the Cookie Crafters. Guys, they spawn really slow, so the technique here is you're gonna defeat one mob at a time. Okay, after one mob, head to the next mob, defeat it, or maybe three mobs at a time. Yeah, it really depends on you. If you're gonna defeat seven set of mobs, you're gonna wait for at least 25 seconds for them to spawn. So guys, 2300, Coco Warriors at the Coco Island. Guys, you can get uh, conjured cocos here so that you can use it to summon or make a, a candy chalice to defeat Doki. There you go. We're gonna reach level 2400 here or you can reach max level here. Next up, guys, the Sea of Treats. Yes, there's an event now. Make sure to uh, join or do that. There you go. We're gonna defeat candy pirates until we reach max level. Gamer Nom, how about the Tiki Outpost? Guys, mobs suck there. They're far apart. Maybe if you're using Blizzard Fruit, yeah, that's good. But no, they spawn really slow. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay here or just do the expeditions, okay? Anyway, guys, that's it. Reach max level. Guys, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone. Are you excited with the Dragon Rework? I am. So guys, let's wait for that and enjoy this holiday. Again, guys, I hope that you learned something from this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Rom. See you in my next video. Bye bye.